Well, first of all, hello Edinburgh. I was hoping to be there with you in person today uh, to take part in whatever it is you're doing at this year's television festival. But here at the BBC, as some of you may know, we're currently in the middle of a particularly stimulating phase in our Strategic Damage Limitation Initiative, which we're rolling out across all our platforms going forward. Uh, nevertheless, I've been invited to make some sort of short keynote address, although I prefer to think of it as a chance to scribble a few headline words on the chalkboard at the front of the class. Something perhaps to glance up at occasionally in the unlikely event of you losing focus or getting bored in the hours that lie ahead. These are exciting times in the television industry. As I've said elsewhere, one of my core beliefs is that problems are just solutions waiting to happen. And there's no doubt that we're heading collectively towards some potentially epic solutions at the moment. As my colleague Siobhan Sharp from Fun Media, formerly Perfect Curve, might put it, and in fact does put it almost constantly, television, what even is that? Like, I don't even know what that is. It's a point. And perhaps a place to start from. So my first word on the chalkboard would be audience. Who are we making television for and where have they all gone? It goes without saying that it's the millennial generation that we're talking about here. For anyone under the age of 35, the idea of owning either a corner or a room is a foreign enough concept already, let alone the idea of owning any kind of fixed screen to put in it. But just think for a moment about the opportunities that gives us all. Here at the BBC, for instance, without uh, giving too much away at this stage, we're already making plans to replace our iPlayer platform with the new, more millennial-facing BBC Snatch Tap. Downloadable to any device, where instead of programmes being available for weeks or even months at a time, I mean, let's face it, yawn, key content disappears before you can watch it. We think that'll put us firmly back ahead of our viewers again, which is surely where we all want to be. My next word might be diversity. In fact, it is diversity. For many of us in the industry, diversity has become nothing less than the reason we're here. For others, of course, it's the reason why we aren't. That's one of the reasons why we've recently made a commitment to launch a new service, BBC BAME, alongside and in parallel with our other channels, where, for example, for the first time, viewers will be able to choose between watching Hugh Edwards presenting the news on BBC One or via the red button to see Clive Myrie reading exactly the same news at exactly the same time, but without a Welsh accent. And that's just one example. The next word I'd like to scribble on the board is gender. This, of course, is a big one. It's everywhere. I'm sure that as you look around you in the room there in Edinburgh, you'll see examples of it right now. Or will you? Because this is a word whose meaning is changing virtually as we speak. For one person, it might mean the freedom at last no longer to be defined by the sexual and social norms assigned to you at birth, whilst for another person, it might mean the freedom to earn just under two-thirds as much as you used to earn before everyone else found out. Getting gender equality right is one of the hardest tasks we face in the industry. And the sensitivities around LGBTQI issues are at the forefront of all our minds. But I'm an optimist. It's hard to believe now, but it's worth remembering that back in 2015, when I was appointed Head of Values at the BBC, it was still just plain old LGB. I think we can all feel proud of the fact that since then we've managed to add T, Q and I to the equation. It's a start, but there's so much further to go. And these are exciting times for all of us. My final heading is social mobility. Whatever the ethical, technical or economic challenges we face at the moment, one thing at least we can all agree on is that there are too many educated middle-class people in television. The last thing any of us needs is television made by people like you and me. Hashtag me neither, hashtag it's over, hashtag tough shit. At the BBC, we've already started to put measures in place to drive this forward. Some of you might have seen the television BAFTAs on BBC One earlier this year. Some of you may even have been there, which was obviously an oversight on our part and something we're hoping to put right going forward. And it's not about dumbing down. It's about the opposite of that. It's about empowering ignorance and giving an audience the space to properly own its lack of ambition. In the end, it's about direction of travel. And perhaps that's an appropriate place to finish. It doesn't mean we're there yet or that we'll ever get there or that the direction we're travelling in is the right one, given where we seem to have started from. But it's a commitment to seek to put in place some answers to some of those questions. It's a reminder of just how important the work you're doing there in Edinburgh is. 
So in the end, then, it's all good. Thank you.